Okay, so this is a video about establishing scale drawings, specifically architectural scale drawings uh, in Photoshop. And we're going to look at two different passes at this. First is grabbing something out of a program like Google Earth or an app like Google Earth. And the next is, you know, if we just have an image, a standard raster image of a floor plan or an elevation, something like that. Um, and how do we scale that inside of Photoshop so it's actually to an architectural scale? So let's start off here in Photoshop. And so this is the main level of falling water. And fortunately on this, I have a graphical scale right here. It's a little bit fuzzy. It's a little bit difficult to tell, but I can tell on this graphical scale, this is zero, this is 10. So I have a known dimension of 10 feet. I'm not going to use that to actually do the scaling. I actually want to use a longer dimension across something. So essentially what I've done is I've taken um, a layer, I've taken my paintbrush and drawn a 10 foot line here and been able to, to create, you know, what I'm going to call a safe guesstimate of about 40 feet from edge to edge, here to here. Knowing that that's 40 feet, I can use that as a measurement to scale everything um, so that I can put this not at just sort of an arbitrary raster image scale where I don't know exactly how big something is, but I can actually put this to a final scale so I can see it as a 16th of an inch or an eighth of an inch, etc. So to do that, I need a little bit more room to work. So let's go ahead and make a new composition. So I'm just going to go File, New, and just for the class that I'm working on in this, I'm going to go ahead and make something larger. So this is a 24 by 36 inch by 100 DPI. So this is more of a presentation board at a very low resolution. Typically we would set this at 300, but since I'm going to be working with graphics coming directly off the internet, 100 is a safer, lower resolution, but a safer thing so that we don't end up with really small images at a really low resolution. So we're starting the low resolution, slightly larger raster images. Okay, so there's my 24 by 36. I am going to select, using the marquee tool, the elements that I want to copy over. So I'm on my background layer here, edit, copy, edit, paste. So I now have the floor plan in, it's at 100 dpi in this, and I have it on a larger canvas so I can begin to work with this. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to turn on my dimensions along the edge or my rulers. That's under view and rulers. So I'm going to drag two parts, two lines out so I can get, you know, the current dimension. And I'm going to start by placing at a known quantity. So if I hold shift down, it's going to move my guide. Um, in increments, and I'm doing that again by going over the ruler, left clicking and dragging out. Okay, so I've got two guides out here right now. I'm going to use my move tool, and let's call this layer one floor plan. So I can use my move tool, and I'm going to line up one side of this living area, the uh, fireplace right there, on that line that's at 10 inches. I'm going to um, hover over this guide and I'm going to move it right over the top of this edge right here. So that is 11.313 inches, or that's 11, and I believe we're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16 of an inch. So 0.313 in terms of the numeric quality is probably a little bit more important in terms of running the mathematics on this. Let's zoom in so we can see it just a little bit better. Now again, this isn't going to give me a wildly accurate level of precision, but we're going to be in the realm of close enough, right? So let's go into a little app um, that I've built in Excel. It's just a really simple scale calculator. And in a different video, I can walk through exactly how this functions. But essentially, what we are looking for, let's say, at a sixteenth of an inch. So one inch equals 16 feet. What is the output dimension going to be if I am looking at 40 feet? And it is going to be two and a half inches. Okay, so I know a sixteenth inch scale, 40 feet, is two and a half inches. Okay. So let's go back into Photoshop. 
And let's put another line out here, 10, 1, 2, 11, and a half. So I'm now, I now have a mark at 0 and at 2 and a half inches. And if I want this plan to be roughly at a sixteenth of an inch, and I understand that this is going to derez a lot by blowing this up almost by a factor of two, but it's going to give me something then that is slightly more measurable than this sort of arbitrary floor plan, right? So there's two methods that I can do with this. First, I can go mathematics. Let's just open up the calculator here and let's do my um, 1.313. Um, oh, let's do that the other way. We need to do 2.5 divided by 1.313, which is going to give me a number of 1.904. So if I look at that as a percentage, it's 190% as a scale factor. So I can do this method just strictly by looking at percentages and mathematics here with this. So to make that change, to increase this by a scale of 190 percent, I would simply come to, again, I'm on my floor plan layer, edit, transform, scale. In Photoshop, you're going to see width and height. Those two are typically locked together, 190 percent as my factor. And now when I move one side of that chimney, right here, one side of the living room to this side, now know that that dimension across is 40 feet or if I measure this at scale, two and a half inches, which will give me that 40 foot mark. So the other method that I can use is um, just doing it visually. A little less accurate, a little bit slower, but if you're struggling remembering the math, I can simply go transform, scale, and now I can simply scale this drawing up, zoom out a little bit, edit, transform, scale, and I can simply drag those corners until I'm matching edge to edge. So again, not as accurate, but I'm going to get a similar result in a process that, let's be honest, isn't terribly accurate as it stands anyway. Right? A little bit longer to do that, but again, the goal is to start to get these things close to a scale. Um, Okay, so let's look at this similar technique um, coming directly out of Google Earth. So this works really nicely if I need to get a site plan or some context put together. So inside of Google Earth, um, just a couple of quick things. I'm going to use my wheel to zoom in and out. I can also hold down the wheel to orbit. Typically, if I'm grabbing dimensions, I want to be in a two-dimensional view, not the default three-dimensional view. Um, there are two ways I can pull dimensions out of Google Earth. First of all, things are proportionally correct. So I can use my measure tool and begin to lay down some basic dimensions um, in terms of north and south or x and y in terms of the graphics of it. Also, right down here at the bottom corner, I have my elevation above sea level. So this is really convenient, for instance, finding the height of a building. I can hover over this parking lot and get 1329 above sea level, or I can go over the top of the building and get 1586. A little bit of subtraction will give me the height on that building. So it's a really nice thing to know. But in this particular case, uh, let's say I want to grab this park right here um, and bring that into Photoshop and, and place it in Photoshop at a scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my distance tool. And by the way, if you're needing something, so right now I have this set to feet. By default, it might not always be set to that, so I can go to my settings. And um, on down here, in terms of format and units, I have feet and miles, or meters and kilometers. So depending on your location, depending on your needs, you can set that whatever it needs to be. Let's go to measure. And again, I don't want to do something small. I don't want to do a small dimension. I want to do something larger across my screen. I'm going to keep this running basically at a um, east to west, so that way it's easier to measure inside of Photoshop. So let's just go ahead and do that at 900 feet. We're going to have accompanying music, so it'll be nice. 900 feet. Okay, so from that 900 feet, I'm going to do a screen capture. 
love soundtracks. File, new. So I did a simple um, print screen inside of Google Alert. So I'm doing an edit paste into Photoshop. And now I can do the exact same trick that we did with the floor plan, leveraging this known dimension. So I'm going to grab my marquee tool. Edit, copy, and then into my larger board here, edit, paste. And let's move that to a location where I'm going to be able to scale it. So this time I'm going to put a guide over each end of my measurement. position the one on the left here right at seven inches. This is my site plan. I'm just using the arrow key to nudge it over and that way I can put this one on so I am at 16.438 so that'd be 16 and 7 eighths or not 7 eighths I'm sorry uh, um, uh, brains not working. Yeah, whatever it is. It's one of those days, right? So, I don't need to lock that to my memory here. Let's zoom back in. Sixteen point four three eight. So let's do a little bit of math again. Sixteen point four three eight minus seven. That's going to get me my total dimension. Nine point four three eight. Okay. So let's go back to the scale calculator. So let's make a guess that maybe we want this to be revved at um, one inch equals fifty feet. And my total dimension inside of Google Earth was 900.3 feet. Let's just call it 900. It's going to get us definitely close enough. So 900 feet would be 18 inches. And where were we at? We were 9 inches. So that's we are too far off in the scale. I mean, we're, we're talking about blowing this up by a factor of 2. So let's go back to the scale calculator and let's change this to about 1 inch equals 80 feet. Now we're much, much closer to what our current resolution is at, 11 and a quarter. So again, we can take 11 and a quarter, divided by 9.438. It's 1 point, I'll just call it 1.2, 120% on our scale factor. So, same method here. I've got my site plan layer selected. Edit, transform, scale. 120%. And let's check in the scale calculator again. I should be 11 and a quarter on my dimensions. So, from 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And a quarter. Let's see if we didn't come out right at that. And we sure did. Simple as that. So that method gets you raster drawings at an architectural scale using a little bit of measuring in both Google Earth and Photoshop and understanding scale factors.